Hey, how you doing? How are you? Good morning. Good. Ready for some questions? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. If you had to work but didn't need the money, <laughs> if you had to work but didn't need the money, what would you choose to do? Uh, I'd probably be a surgeon and not work with money. I don't know. <laughs> what is in your fridge right now? My fridge contains uh, blueberries, water, and wine. <laughs> would you rather look like a potato or feel like a potato? Probably want to feel like a potato. Fast food chain, what would you pick? Uh, Wendy's. Can't Hi, stand Dr. that place. Oh, hey, thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. Is there an app that you hate but use anyways? Uh, yeah, Facebook. If you could only speak one word today, what would you say? Uh, yes. What part of your body could use a little lotion? I'm um, actually very well moisturized. I'm, I don't need any lotion. <laughs> Uh, the lips. Do you dance crazy when no one is looking? Absolutely. Does it everyone? What was the best thing before I sliced bread? Uh, I have to go with water on that one. Come on guys, let's go this way. I'm gonna check out the OR board. If you could wedgie any historical figure, who would you pick? George Washington. So work with me on this, right? Uh-huh. You've been given an elephant and you can't get rid Come of Come here guys, I'm gonna take a look at some stuff over here. Uh-huh. What are you going to say? You've been given an elephant and you can't get rid of it. Uh-huh. What would you do with it? Uh, ride it. Of course. What's the wildest thing you've ever done in a hotel room? <laughs> I plead the fit. <laughs> what languages do you speak? Uh, I understand English, uh, Spanish un poquito, and Farsi, uh, Salam Azizan. Say something else in Farsi. Conjoy, uh, Khadafiz. Different terms like that. <laughs> Say something in Spanish. Como estas? <laughs> What's your favorite word in Spanish? Claro. Hair gel or hairspray? Gel. More natural feel. If you use hairspray, it's all stiff. I can't stand that. Contacts or glasses? Both actually. I'm pretty blind. Let's go check out the OR board while we keep doing this. Come on. Boxers or briefs? Uh, I have to go with the briefs on this one. <laughs> Tidy whities No, no. Uh, briefs are cut off mid-thigh. What's your favorite movie? Uh, ooh. Gotta go with Rocky number two on that one. If you could live in a book, TV show, or movie, what would it be? I would like to live in a TV show because hopefully it goes on for years. Movies are kind of short-lived. What TV show would it be? Uh, Full House, definitely. Favorite character on Full House? <laughs> it's Jesse, man. <laughs> if you could bring one musician back from the dead, who would it be? Freddie Mercury. Sounds like a fun guy to party with. What animal best represents you, and why? Uh, probably have to go with a lion on that one. Just because he's always fighting, he's uh, making a living for himself, he's the king of the jungle. I like that. Let's scrub in real quick. Come on, guys. Have one superpower, what would it be? To fly. Absolutely. If you could time travel, would you go to the past or the future? I probably want to go to the future just to see what things are looking like. Uh, hopefully, things aren't too bad in the world, which I don't think they are, but I definitely would like to go to the future. What's the craziest thing you've ever done? <laughs> I can't answer that one. I plead the fifth. <laughs> A lot, aren't you, <laughs> Sometimes you have to. It's a, it's a, one of our amendments. <laughs> if you could have dinner with any one person, living or dead, who would they be? Uh, I would like to have dinner with Tiger Woods, just because I'm a huge golf fan, and I uh, would like to pick his mind to see how he uh, goes about everyday life. Do you play any other sports? Uh, besides golf, uh, the gym two or three times a week, and uh, that's really it. Actually, I stopped playing basketball because. You can get injured pretty easily. Why did you choose your profession? Uh, I chose surgery really because I love to operate. I love being in the operating room. It gives me freedom to do what I like. And uh, it's, it's something that is very, it's a blessed skill to have. So I love doing that. If you could speak another language, which would it be and why? Italian. I think it's a romantic language and it just sounds really sexy when it comes off the mouth. If you could change one event from history, what would it be? 
Ooh, one event from history, probably, I don't know, that's a tough one. Uh, I don't know, the outbreak of AIDS, how about that? Okay. Would you rather live in a city or a woods? No, city. I hate the woods. I can't stand mosquitoes. It's a bad thing. What is home to you? Home? Home is where my mom and dad are. <laughs> Wherever that be, and usually that's Orlando. What are you most grateful for? I'm grateful for the opportunity I have to live here in Miami, operate, do what I love, and it's a great time. If you had to choose to live without one of your five senses, which one would you give up? Smell. Why is that? Because I can go without it. I'd rather see, look, touch, <laughs> hear. Smell I could go without. If you could take only three items with you to the deserted island, what would they be? Water, uh, food, and uh, matches. If you had the world's attention for 30 seconds, what would you say? Uh, I let them know to stop fighting each other, to uh, try to work their differences out, and go about life peacefully. My favorite procedure to do is probably a tummy tuck. It encompasses all aspects of surgery, lifting flaps, suturing, uh, using your creative sense to kind of tailor the body, tighten everything back up again before, uh, say, pregnancy occurred. So that's definitely hands down my favorite procedure. In school, were you a quiet kid or were you a fun kid? <laughs> I was actually a very big troublemaker. Always in trouble. <laughs> Are you a troublemaker now? No, I've calmed down a lot actually. <laughs> How many pennies would fit into a room? <laughs> Which room? This room? This room. Uh, I have to go with two billion. Who's your celebrity crush? Celebrity crush would have to be... Back in the day it was Carmen Electra. Carmen Electra. Carmen Electra. Okay guys, I have to go scrub in, do surgery, uh, so more questions later.